Hi everybody, welcome to Treasure Time. We're learning about farms and farm animals today. And I'm going to read to you about a day on the farm from this National Geographic book about farm animals. This is an early reader and it's a chapter book and it's a wonderful book that tells us all about farms by Joanne Mattern. And I'm going to read chapter two, A Day on the Farm. A fa on a family farm, the sun slowly rises on a new summer day and the rooster crows loudly. Cock-a-doodle-doo! And the cows stand next to a gate. Soon the farmer will lead them into a field. And here is our friend, the cow. And we have a beautiful cow over here too. The farmer opens the gate, the cows walk through. The grass in the field is green and thick. The cows eat. The sun rises higher and chickens began to roam around the yard. They begin to roam around the yard. The farmer has scattered grain for them. The chickens are hungry, so they use their beaks to peck and eat. Chickens eat other things in the yard too. They use their beaks to dig for worms and bugs. And we have kind of a silly chicken here, but this is a chicken who lays eggs. It's noon and the sun is high now. It's hot. The pigs stay in the shade in their pen. They think water and they drink water from a long trough. The pigs roll in the mud in their pen. The wet mud cools them and piggies love mud and they can get very dirty. And this is a baby pig and he's just a cute little baby pig. It's late afternoon now in a pasture beyond the field, a sheep looks up and runs. A black and white dog bounds over the hill. The dog is a border collie. His job is to herd the sheep to a new place. The farmer wants to use the pasture for other animals. The dog helps the farmer to move the sheep away. And here is a sheep, a beautiful sheep. And sheep give us wool. One of our sheep fell down, but he'll be okay. The sun begins to eat and the animals move again. And the sun begins to set. The horses in the field change direction and trot together towards the stable. The farmer opens the stable door. Each horse has its own space inside. The horses will eat and sleep standing up. And there is a beautiful black horsey.
It's getting dark now. The chickens get ready to roost in their coop. One by one, they flutter inside where it's comfortable and warm. The chickens look around the coop. Soon it will be dark. Then they will sleep. It's night on the farm. Cows and sheep snuggle down in the straw and settle in for the night. They lie, lie close together in the barn to keep warm, but on a hot night, probably not so close. And this is a barn and this is a chicken house and this is a stable and those are just some places where animals live. And this chapter is about farm machines. This is a tractor. In the old days, it was the big horse or even the cow who pulled the tractor. Work on a farm is hard. Animals such as horses, oxen, and mules are used they used to do most of the heavy work. Today, farmers often use machines. On a wheat farm in the spring, the farmer uses a tractor to pull a smaller machine into the field. And this tractor has a hook on the back and you can put a plow or a lawnmower or a cutter and different different kinds of wagons on the back, different kinds of attachments to do different kinds of work. The small machine is called a plow. It has many sharp parts that move in a circle. A plow digs deep into the soil, turning it over. The plow gets rid of weeds. Now, the soil is ready for seeds. This is the grain drill. The grain drill pushes the wheat seeds into the ground. It covers the seeds up and now the wheat can grow. The combine saves the farmer a lot of work it does three jobs at once. A farmer uses a combine to cut, separate, and clean the wheat. Then the wheat will be processed and sold. Not all farmers have big machines. In many places, farmers continue to use animals to help them do hard work. These animals are strong. They do important jobs. The farmer could not run a farm without their help. And these are bulls, the father cow, and they are pulling the plow. So that is a little bit of information about farms and how they operate.